continuously invest and develop clean energy, our brand for clean and renewable energy where and when it proves feasible. Aboitis Power is one of the country's largest producers of renewable energy, and our clean energy portfolio generates 1,260 watts of the San Carlos city officials led by the mayor since we began work into your community. To the other energy stakeholders, PEMSI, Transco, Engineering Group, our very supportive and accommodating creditor banks. Last, but certainly not the least, congratulate our project development and execution teams, as well as our sales teams for their strong commitment, tenacity, and hard work to see this project through. With all of your combined and continued support, your invaluable partnership, we will continue to provide a sustainable solution for our country's growing demand for power and to energize the dreams and hopes of our fellow Filipinos for a better future. On behalf of the Aboitis Group, thank you all very much for joining us in today's momentous event and hope you all have a good day. Thank you. Thank you very much. And a big hand for Mr. Eramon Aboitis. Please welcome the Governor of the Province of Negros Occidental, Governor Alfredo G. Marañón. His Excellency President Benigno Aquino III, Honored Cabinet Members, Local Government Executives and Officials, Guests, Ms. Chris Aquino, friends in the media, our warmest welcome to the province of Negros Occidental, the emerging renewable energy capital of the Philippines today, and home to the largest solar farm in Southeast Asia. Not so long ago, Your Excellency, we had been talking about transforming Negros Occidental into a green economy. We took stock internally of our local resources available. After due diligence, we realized that on top, of course, of the vast tracts of land, the province is blessed with seven major river systems, which have an estimated capacity of about 200 megawatts. There are also existing geothermal power operations both in Occidental and Oriental side, and many other prospects like Queen Biomass plant to energy from sugar mills and other cogeneration activities. These existing exciting times for our local economy, and the series of solar farm projects inaugurated most recently has put Negros Occidental specifically and Negros Island as a region on the world map. San Carlos City and its people are very fortunate for the Socasol 45 megawatt and the San Carlos biopower of uh, 19 uh, megawatt operations, which, which consistently provided not only revenues for host LGU, but more importantly, employment to the local workforce. The Cadiz Hillio Solar Energy Corporation established the largest solar farm in Southeast Asia, which produces 132 megawatts. City Core Power set up in, in Silai City with a capacity of 25 megawatts, while Negros Island Solar Power is Isca Solar, 32 megawatt solar farm in Carlota City, another 48 megawatt installation in Manapla. Let me thank your Excellency, President Pinoy, for his continued support to the provincial government initiative. Not so many people know, and others may not even believe this, that the Aquino administration has infused billions upon billions of pesos to Negros Occidental in the form of social services, 
the bottom-up budgeting, farm-to-market roads, irrigation system. Here in San Carlos, we have three irrigation systems that is now operation, in operational. And other major initiatives, these are, Mr. President, province. As I have echoed time and again, among the previous president, you have given the most to Negros Occidental. Even if we combine the projects of the past president, they cannot surpass what you have given to Negroses during your six years. <laughs> and also, Mr. Abuites, thank you for your confidence in investing here in our province. And there are so many renewable places like hydro, as I've said, there are seven major rivers ready to be tapped for renewable energy. And on behalf of the Negrinses, I sincerely thank for your generous spirit, and we can assure you that when you leave office in June 30, Negrinses will have so much to thank you for you have fulfilled your promise to the nation in 2010 of embracing the Madang Matuid transparency and accountability and the promotion of Bayang Mar Rangal. Good day and thank you and God bless. Thank you very much, the honor lives of our countrymen and protecting our environment. I'm proud to say that through the able leadership in the Department of Energy, we've risen to this challenge. Over the course of our term, we have commissioned a total of 3,262 megawatts in installed capacity in 70 power plants. 38 of which, or better than 50%, are renewable. For Visayas specifically, we were able to increase the region's dependable capacity by more than 900 megawatts, from around 1,300 megawatts in 2010 to 2,228 megawatts at present. There is another 5,404 megawatts in the pipeline through 60 incoming committed projects, 42 of which are renewable. Indeed, one can really see our commitment to mitigating climate change since the percentage of renewables in our energy mix has remained relatively high. At 33.9%, not to mention, while we are still exploring how to minimize prices and ease the burden of our people, the cost of energy has stayed at a reasonable level. The solar plant we are inaugurating today is certainly a step in the right direction. It is yet another reason to be optimistic and confident about the future. I am told that this plant will help avoid 72,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year. And this is apart from the basic benefits of such a project. While we have a current energy surplus in Visayas, it is imperative for us to react and prepare for future economic growth. And this plant offers an estimated additional 59 megawatts of capacity to the ever-growing Visayas region. I'm also told that since the Visayas and Luzon grids have already been interconnected, these grids can be improved and can easily source from each other should there be a shortage in supply. There is likewise a Boitis 68 mega run of the river power plant, which is also expected to start commercial operations this year. Indeed, for your confidence in our people and our nation, your companies have my gratitude as well as that of the Filipino people. It is such a welcome development to see that solar is becoming more prevalent and affordable, and our administration's hope is that even more companies follow in your footsteps. This hope is reflected in how we have helped pave the way for you to invest here, in the form of competitive economic incentives. Investors in renewable energy uh, development receive a seven-year income tax holiday, 10-year duty-free importation of renewable energy, machinery, and feeding tariff rates, amongst many others. Of course, Congressman Omali is here, chair of the Energy Committee in the House. If there are other concerns, he is the person to talk to to amend the necessary laws. <laughs> Through such measures, we are confident in number of believers from the private sector. We can truly achieve our goal of increasing our renewable energy base capacity to 15,304 megawatts by 2030. And I'm certain that as we welcome even more advances in renewables, we can minimize our reliance on fossil fuels, increase the share of renewables, all without jeopardizing the price structure. Ladies and gentlemen, I only have 72 days remaining in office, and I will certainly miss attending landmark inaugurations such as this one. Rest assured, however, that I am no less optimistic about our future as a nation. 
because we have reliable, well-meaning partners in you. And more importantly, because I am confident that our people will not let our gains go to waste and will choose to continue treading the straight path. I am hopeful that even as I step down, Aboitis can remain the consistent partner and continue its trend of working with government, investing in the Filipino, and helping shape a better future for mankind. And I am likewise hopeful that our productive partnership can set an enduring framework by which sectors, public and private, converge to build a nation that we can be proud to bequeath to the next generation. Thank you. Good day. Thank you very much, His Excellency President Aquino. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just concluded this morning's switch on ceremony of the Saka Sun 59 megawatt power plant. We thank all our distinguished guests of honor and stakeholders for joining us this morning. May we request everyone to remain in their places.